Hey, our friends, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic chipmunk. We're going to keep it nice and simple, but it's going to look really cool at the end. I hope you're excited and you're going to follow along with me. You need a marker, some paper, and something to color with at the very end. All right, we're first going to start by drawing our chipmunk's eye up here in the top left of our paper. And we're just going to draw a circle first. And then we're going to draw a small little circle on the top left for the highlight to make his eyes look shiny. We could also color in the big circle, but leave that little one white. Because this is a blue table, remember, I'm drawing by myself, so if I go too fast, you can always pause the video to take extra time to finish a step. All right, now let's draw the corner of our squirrel's eye. We're just gonna draw a small little V in the bottom left and also the top right. Now we're gonna draw the top of our chipmunk's head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and it's going to come down to a point right in front of his eye. Then we're going to curve back around and go under and we're going to stop right underneath the eye. Then we're going to draw his mouth. We're going to come back over here, draw a little curve underneath and then we could also draw it curving up so it looks like his cheeks are full of nuts. All right, now we could also draw, we're going to draw his little nose Right here, we're just gonna draw a little curve that comes up and back down. Now on this side, we're gonna draw his eyelid sticking out. Now up at the top, let's draw another curve that comes across to finish the shape of his head. It, he kind of looks like an alien, so let's draw his ears next. <laughs> we're gonna draw a big upside down U that comes up like this, and then it's gonna curve back down. Now inside his ear, we're going to start up here at the top and we're going to draw an S curve that comes down and curves back the other way. Then we're going to curve back up to the other side and connect it. Cool. Now let's draw the ear on the back side of his head. We're going to draw a line that comes up and then curves down. Now let's draw the back of his head. We're going to imagine this line going behind his ear, coming back and that's for his little neck and also his back. Now let's draw his arms. And they're gonna be right in front of his mouth holding a nut. So we're gonna draw a little curve that comes down like this and then back up right close to his nose. Then we're gonna draw a sideways U shape or C it curves around. And now we could draw a zigzag line and we're gonna draw it messy so it looks natural coming around and it's gonna curve back up into his body. Now let's draw his fingers. We're gonna draw a couple lines right here on that C shape. That's a simple way to draw a hand. Now we could draw the little thing that he's holding. Maybe it's a nut or some piece of food, a little snack. So another little C shape. And then let's draw his arm and his hand on the other side. So we draw a little curve that comes down and connects. Now we're gonna draw his little fingers hanging on to that snack on the other side. Doesn't that look cool? Looks super 3D. We could draw a couple lines also to divide his fingers. Ah, oh, he looks so awesome. Now let's draw the rest of his body. We're gonna draw his belly first. So we're gonna draw another zigzag line right here. We're just gonna draw a short curved zigzag line that comes underneath his arm. Then we're going to draw his first back leg. So we're going to start up here. We're going to draw another zigzag. It's curving around. And then we're going to stop right there so we can draw his foot. We're going to draw a little curve that comes out and then curves down. Now let's come back up here to the back of his neck and we're going to draw the rest of his body. We're going to draw a zigzag line that comes back like this and it's going to curve down. and connect down here at the bottom. Then let's finish his foot. We're gonna draw another line that comes down and connects into that first line we drew. Now we can also draw a couple lines just like we did on the hands to divide up his little toes. <laughs> now let's draw his other back leg. We're gonna draw another zigzag line, comes down and it's gonna connect to his other leg 
And then we're going to draw his little foot sticking out over here too. Draw a curve that comes out and down. Then we're going to draw the bottom of his foot coming back and connecting into his leg. And then let's draw three more lines, short little lines to divide up his little toes. All right, we're almost done. We just need to draw his tail. So we're going to draw more zigzag lines. And we're going to start by drawing, we're going to draw a curve that comes up while we're doing the zigzag. And then it's going to come back down like that. Then let's draw the bottom of his tail and draw another zigzag going this way. And it's going to follow the curve of that first line. And then right at the end, connect in. <laughs> we did it. We finished drawing our chipmunk. He looks really cool, except he's going to look so much better once we color him. We're going to add stripes and we're going to add a fur texture so he looks super realistic. Now this part I am going to fast forward, but you guys can pause it at the end to match the same coloring. Now if you want, you can pause the video right now. I've only used one colored pencil, my dark brown or dark umber. I've drawn his stripes on his back and also on his face. I've also added some shading. You also want to make sure that you're using short strokes back and forth so that his fur looks short. This creates a more realistic texture. For the last step, I'm using a color called sand, which is really just a light brown. And I'm going back in and adding more texture on all of those white areas. Now remember to use short strokes so that it looks more realistic. I'm also switching to a yellowed orange color to add more spots and brighter colors in different areas on his body. All right, we did it. We finished coloring our chipmunk and he looks so much better colored in. I hope you're gonna take the time to pause the video to match the same coloring. And it really wasn't too difficult. We only used three colors, our dark umber or dark brown, yellowed orange, and also the sand color. And one last thing you can do is use a white colored pencil to go back in and add a few more highlights to his eyes to make him look really shiny. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing your own chipmunks. They turned out awesome. I'm sure your drawings look amazing too. And don't worry if your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.